something happened yeah uh, so welcome in we gates we gates uh, vedhi sorry we gates we gates shruti i remember we are good the first sentence i forgot we gates pratipa good undir good thank you okay uh, so yesterday uh, we did verb conjugation how to conjugate a verb and a quick division for that so i uh, all of you have got the got these notes yeah yeah it was uploaded okay cool okay just a second let me share the screen first <clears throat> cool so uh, just a quick revision from that uh, sheet only so as you all have this documents so in this i have given personal pronouns it is written nominative so basically in german we have uh, three types of cases nominative accusative and dative so that is in english as well but we uh, generally don't learn it it is in our uh, spoken language so uh, nominative is something which is the subject of the sentence whatever is the subject in the sent sentence that is always nominative so we have some uh, like pronouns based on these cases for now we will learn only nominative so as i have already told you what is which one is the singular uh, pronoun which one is the plural pronoun or which one is formal which is informal so it's very clear in this table as well as uh, which i have taught which i have uh, already given to you okay next i have given few examples like one example of a common verb conjugation that is the ending with ish is e do is st z like what we have done is this ish ending is e do is st r z s is t ear is t and wear z z is e n sorry wear z z is e n this we have done yesterday and i have told you two special rules like uh, exceptional cases in which if you have a uh, d or t after removing e n if you have d or t at the end of the verb then there will be extra e with do r z s and ear then we put the endings and if you have ending s or z or t z or double s like the so sound in that case the verb ending for do will be t only not s <clears throat> okay so this was the revision what we have done yesterday zain and haben i told you <clears throat> sorry i, I am uh, having little bit uh, throat pain today so we have uh, i told you to learn zain and haben conjugation please learn it if you didn't now i have given the these 10 sentences to practice i hope you have done this and it's very easy also so uh, vedi can you tell me what ending should come here uh ich geha e it's not ich it ish 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 yeah ish geha in the shula shula is school i go to school so gehen means to go it's written there also it's written here gehen is to go okay so ish geha in the shula i go in the school okay then uh, shashikala can you tell me the next ending 
in second sentence what would be the ending shashikala you there never mind uh, shruti can you tell me the ending uh, for the second one yeah second right? yes yeah air comped aus spin uh, spanian Sp- spanian yeah spanian is spain air comped aus spanian so we have done the sentence uh, when we were introducing ourselves if we introduce ourselves so it is ish comma aus indian so ish comma instead of ish comma we can write air comped according to the pronoun the ending will be changed okay next is ear pratipa what would be the ending your learnt deutsch L- learnt deutsch yeah ear learnt deutsch that means you all learn german okay next som babu what would be the ending in fourth wear sprechen english good wear sprechen english we speak english okay next is do schreib einen brief so here we have a new verb that is schreiben and schreiben means to write and brief is letter okay so the ending with do will be st so do schreibs einen brief you write a letter cool so next uh, so babu can you tell me which form of sign will be there can you repeat please we are zind in wien yeah we are zind in wien so wien is vienna we are zind in wien we are wien okay we are in wien okay pratipa what would be here year year arbeitet okay can you tell me the spelling a r mhm b e can you spell it in german yeah a r b a r r b mhm a mhm good e mhm T, T, I, I, I. What is I as? No, sorry. A, yeah. A, E okay. by A. Yeah, yeah. A and T, T. Good. Why is it arbitrated? Because. with ear we write the ending t but uh, in this verb after removing en there will be t so that's why we have to add an extra e ear arbeitet by einer grossen firma so arbeiten is to work arbeiten is to work and grossen is big like he uh, you all work with a big company firma is like as in english firm with a big company with a big organization okay so with a big company like you said no uh, uh, like you usually say he works with a big brand so that is the same thing firma is firm okay next herr muller z aber spät Shruti, can you tell me? Read the sentence. Try to translate and tell me what could come here. Uh, that would be common. 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 Okay. Herr Müller. Um. Uh, Herr Müller. Mister Müller. Uh mm-hmm. huh. Yeah. Um. Um. Common become. 
so mr muller you come but late so we are directly talking to mr muller mr muller you come but late okay, okay. so because it is capital s and we are talking directly so that's why it is common one thing i want to add here is whenever you have the salutations if you are calling someone with the salutation salutation is mr or miss so in that case it is formal always okay so if you are calling someone like mr muller or uh, miss uh, peter mrs peter okay in that case if you are adding these salutations that should be always formal so that's why we have written here capital z okay so z common aber spät but late next shashikala can you tell me which form of leben could come here okay vedahi can you tell me leben means to live uh, me uh, my brother hmm. brother lebet in uh, can you spell it l e b e t in german oh uh, uh, um l Mm-hmm. A uh, A. Hmm. Ba. B. A, B. A. Hmm. Uh. T. Okay. Why uh you add this extra e? Why did you add this extra e? Oh no, sorry. Uh, e won't be there. L E B. Yeah. B my brother lived in munchen so munchen is a place munich as in english so my brother my brother lives in munchen munich okay now uh, how would we pronounce this munich munchen no l a b lived okay leben lived okay so last is ish blank ein book it's very clear the verb is ish so ending uh, the pronoun is ish so the verb have the ending e ish schreiba ein buch so schreiben means to write and book is book so i am writing a book cool okay so uh, is there any doubt in uh, conjugation what we have done yesterday is there any type of doubt in the conjugations you can ask um shivani yeah um so here the last one uh, now that you mentioned uh, right to write uh, i mean writing a book it translates to writing a book yeah so uh, in english uh, we have writing a book to i mean i will write a book and all so how does the verb um, uh, exactly translate to those uh, tenses okay so basically if you are talking about present tense okay there will be no extra verb if you are writing is schreiba ein buch so that should be in the context if somebody is asking you directly that question at the same point that what are you doing and you are saying is schreiba ein buch that means you are writing a book but usually uh, for present tense we use this the only a single verb for past tense and for future we have few extra verbs which we will learn later so okay, yeah. okay so for uh, past tense uh, there is some other grammar but for presents yeah. for present tense we use only this verb the main verb okay, yeah. okay. cool danke yeah no shon okay so uh, we have done this as well you ha all have the the uh, this uh, sheet this document cool so today what i want to start is we have done the conjugation we will practice few things today but little bit later first of all i want to tell you about the sentence format how we can 
uh, form a sentence in german although it is very similar to uh, english as we have learned in our in our school as we, uh, in our childhood that how to form a uh, simple sentence question sentence or any negative sentence okay so basically in german uh, sentence is uh, we call sentence as satz satz in english is sentence okay so we have a we have three types of uh, sentences here first what we are learning for now is first is we frage so why i am calling this we because w is we in german w is pronounced as we in german and frage is question so this is w question as you all know we have this wh family in uh, english okay so w questions are those which are which we start with these wh family words w words like what why where from where okay so these words when whenever the question is starting from these words that is w frage the we frage w question okay so the format is very similar to uh, english first we have to use the w word so w what what is word okay after that we have to add a verb and whenever remember one thing whenever i am writing a verb in a format like in in any sentence if i am writing in a sentence format if i am writing the verb it should be conjugated conjugated means according to the pronoun like if i am uh, using the subject ish the verb should be conjugated according to ish there will be ending e okay i'll give you the examples then you will uh, understand how so verb should be always conjugated while making a sentence so w word a way what verb after that plus subject whatever is the subject of the sentence if there is any object then there will be object and the main thing is question mark okay so this is the format how we can make the questions w question we frage okay i'm giving you few example which we have done so uh, if i'm writing wo hair okay one second so the question is uh, where do you live okay now as i have already told you that if you have two verbs in a sentence one is helping verb one is main verb we have to ignore the helping verb while translating it in german okay so here you can see in this sentence do is the helping verb and live is the main verb this is completely english so i know uh, like no need to explain this you already know this okay so uh, as i have told you in german whenever you are translating a sentence from english to german we have to check in question or in a statement or in a sentence if there are two verbs one is helping one is main verb we have to totally ignore the helping verb and we have to use the main verb okay so the format is first we have to write the w word so w word here is where and where in german is wo wo now second thing we have to add is verb conjugated verb okay so live is wohnen sorry so live is wohnen and there is one more verb for live which i have just told you that is leben so you can uh, use either wohnen or leben generally when we are introducing ourselves when we are telling about ourselves we use the verb wohnen okay so leben and wohnen means to live both the meanings are similar there is no such difference now third thing we have to add is subject now you can see in the question we have the subject you so 
it could be either informal or formal so it depends to whom you are talking to whom you are asking this question or uh, like if somebody is asking you he is asking you formally or informally i have told you the formal way of asking this question so wo wohnen or leben sie where do you live okay wo wohnen or leben sie now you can see if it is formal u formal u is capital z and if it is capital z the ending should be en so this is the correct form of conjugation with z okay uh pratipa can you tell me the informal way to ask where do you live if i want to ask it is uh, uh, it in informal if i am asking suppose i am asking you where do you live okay and it's informal what should be the sentence i try yeah it's yeah, sure wo hmm wohnst du yeah very good wo wohnst du du because du is the informal way to ask anything like do is a informal way do means you and it is singular so with do we add ending st okay so that's why it is wo wants do cool so okay uh shruti can you tell me what it would be in german offer that yeah just read the question first and then try to tell me what should be here um can you repeat uh okay first tell me which one is the question word here uh sorry there is lot of disturbance can you repeat the which one is the question word here uh from where yes from where and from where in german is shruti you there my hair yeah good my hair hmm common z yeah my hair common z cool very good okay so uh, what i want to tell you is this is the very basic question format which we use to ask questions plus we can ask any question now like you all know how to introduce yourself in the first class i told you okay now you can ask others as well like you can ask your friends you can for practice you can ask your family members uh, how you can uh, like ask in formal formal ways so you can ask in different ways as well okay so now you can make any question with any pronoun so okay uh, som babu if i want to say who are uh, no who is he can you reframe this question in german som babu what is who we have done this yesterday
Okay. Uh, Grandma, Haruna, can you tell me what should be uh, the question in German? Grandma, you there? Where he? Where is? Yeah. Where is um, air? Yeah, good. Where is air? So, who is where? Is 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 and he is air. Okay, according to the pronoun, we have changed the conjugation of verb. Okay, so what is my purpose to tell you these examples is that you can ask about anyone now. You can reframe these questions. It's not about that you have learned this Voher uh, Commons, so you can only ask for her comments you can ask about someone else like if i want to ask pratipa that uh, pratipa wo uh, her comped where the he i know you uh, don't know about these things but if i want to ask you about a third person so you can ask now you can tell about others okay so you can introduce others as well because you know the conjugation how to conjugate com uh, common what is common with he or she or it or what is the conjugation of sign? So please try using these verb conjugations and reframe the questions you have done till now. Try to ch just change the verbs, change the uh, pronouns and try to make new sentences, new questions. Now, second would be, first we have done W Fraga. Obviously, if we are asking questions, there should be an answer. So we call that aus Zaga Zats. Actually, Aus Zaga is Aus Zaga means statement. Okay, so any statement sentence that means the normal sentence, the answer of any question is Aus Zaga Zats. Now, Aus Zaga Zats is sim the format is similar as in uh, English. So we have subject, then we add a verb verb here will be also conjugated. Now, whatever sentences you are framing, whatever sentences you are making, there should be, the verb should be conjugated every time. So subject, verb conjugated and object, and there will be a full stop. Okay, so according to this, the question is wo, won and z. So answer would be, I live in India. So I live in India. According to the format, if I want to frame the question, then it would be subject that is I, verb that is live, and object here is like in India. So ish and live means live in German is wohna or leben. Wohnen or leben. But you all know with ish, there will be ending e. So ish wohna or ish labor in Indian. Okay. So this is very simple, but uh, okay. I want to ask something from Vedehi. Vedehi, I'm writing a question here. Can you please answer it in German? Okay. Okay, I'll try. Yeah, definitely. Uh... Okay. We have done this question in our introduction. Okay. Uh, we alt ist er. Yeah. What is the meaning of this question? Uh, we, uh, wait. What is alt? I, I can't remember. I saw the video. Okay, it's okay. Uh, is there anyone who remembers Shruti? How old yeah, how is old he? he? How old yeah. Is he? 
How uh, old is he? Old is he? Yeah, he. Very, very good. Okay, so answer would be air is just you can write any random number as nineteen yara alt. Please, whatever you are reading, whatever you are listening in the recordings, in the videos, in the notes, whatever you are reading or uh, if you are making notes or if you are reading it uh, on regular basis, please try to remember, learn the new words, like the learn the question words, learn the countings, how we can uh, practice the countings. I told you the best way to learn the counting is. wherever you saw a num wherever you are uh, watching a number in the tv or in the holdings or anywhere if there is a number written just try to read it in german so that you can remind how many countings you have learned till now okay so now uh, you can frame the questions for anyone for any pronoun you can tell the answers like if somebody is asking you where is he Uh, where is air who is he you can simply answer air is peter or like whatever is the name but you can question for others and you can answer so what is the purpose to teach these uh, formats is the purpose is uh, now you can introduce others as well till now you were introducing yourself in german now you can introduce others now you can tell about others you can introduce your friend as well like if i uh, yeah that could be a kind of a homework for you on monday i'll ask each and every one to introduce your one friend i don't know about your friend you can just imagine uh, there could be a like imaginary person but you have to introduce one of your friend by using uh, he or she and the sentences which we have done for our introduction okay like the mobile number email address not the email address and mobile number because there is some other grammar also but uh, where ta- where does he lives like uh, name living from where he belongs he or she belongs and the age okay so uh, and lang- uh, languages we have done so try to do this now you can introduce others you know s- such type of german now that you can introduce yourself and others as well you can greet so first thing is you can greet people you can ask about uh, like how are you you can ask uh, their about their health you can uh, introduce yourself you can ask questions to others like about their introduction and you can say goodbye you ha- you can say thank you excuse me please the basic phrases we use uh, we uh, use in our regular uh, daily life okay so learn these phrases i'll uh, give you some sheets also uh, might be on monday i'll prepare that on monday so there will be more phrases more phrases means which we usually uh, use like when we uh, when we talk to someone so there are so many uh, basic phrases we use day in daily life so once you'll get it just learn it because there is no fixed grammar in those phrases you uh, you can see if we are saying thank you danka there is no such grammar you have to learn it as many as time you will speak it you will learn it okay cool so there is one third sentence format what i want to tell you is ya nine fraga so ya nine fraga is yes no questions as the name suggests um, ya ya yeah. please can you pronounce the second one again aus 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 zaga zats aus zaga zats okay thank you danka yeah bitte okay so ya nine fraga is yes no question as the name suggest yes no question so uh one difference between ve fraga w question and ya nine fraga is ve fraga is when you want to take the full information suppose i am asking what is your name so i don't know your name that's why i am asking 
so i want to know your name in yana in fraga we know already we know the answer or there is no surety so i want to ask whether it is correct or not so yana in fraga are in which we have to answer in yes or no definitely you have to tell the complete answer like if i am asking are you learning german so you can say yes or no but for uh, because it is a beginning so if i am asking uh, are you learning german you have to say na yes i am learning german or no i am not learning german or uh, no i am learning french okay so these are the yana in fraga so in this these type of question as in english if i am saying are you learning german so in this you can see on first place okay we will first uh, write this question in english then i'll tell you the format are you learning german as i have told you there if there are two verbs helping and main <clears throat> so we will use the main verb now you can see in english as well we have verb at first position in these type of questions so same in german in these type of questions the verb will be on first position the conjugated verb and then we have the subject and then if there is any object and the question mark okay so if you are asking are you learning german so as i have told you there are two verbs helping and main so the main verb is learning that means learn and learn in german is lernen okay we have uh, done this La learning in german is lernen so we have to first conjugate the verb and the verb is lernen because this is a first letter of the sentence that's why it is capital otherwise verb should be small lernen z deutsch simple okay are you learning german or do you learn german in that case also if you are writing do you learn german don't don't be confused that if we are using do you learn german in that case can we use uh, do no because there are also two verbs do do and learn so we will use main verb as learn is the main verb so there will be conjugated verb will be learn and german is a ob, uh, object and subject is you okay uh ya vedhi uh does it does this question have to be formal uh, it depends like to whom you are asking actually i was asking this the same thing uh, can you tell me whether he the informal way to ask this question like in german uh learners learnst learn do daus yeah. deutsch deutsch yeah good okay learns do deutsch so you can ask if there is a formal or informal way to ask like in you with you we have formal or informal way to ask so you can use either formal or informal till the time you don't know the context like uh, if i am talking to you pratipa if i am talking to pratipa and uh, pratipa and i are very uh, informal with each other so if i am asking pratipa do you learn german and it is in a informal way i know the context is informal so i'll directly ask pratipa lens do deutsch okay so that depends on the context to whom you are asking and what is the like you know relationship between you and his uh, the second person like is it formal is it informal if it is formal you have to use z capital z and according to that there will be the ending if it is informal there will be do so according to do there will be st okay okay uh i want to write a question here
so um, okay who is there grandma grandma can you translate this question in german i have told you work is arbeiten work in german is arbeiten can you tell me what would be the question for this there is no object okay he is not there uh, shashi kala are you there no problem pratipa can you translate this question or byten ji yeah or informally or bys to can you spell uh a a mm hmm b mm hmm a mm hmm e yeah e t t oh. yes T. T. Okay. Uh, Shruti, is it correct? Then uh, we have the rule when. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Speak up. Yeah, uh, we have the rule when it uh, ends with T and. Yeah, yeah. Speak up, please. Answer. Don't, don't be afraid. Yeah, we add an extra e exactly. Or... Yeah. yeah. Okay. So please uh, try to remember this while you are translating. So if it is okay. Ah, uh, so Babu, can you uh, translate the sentence? Take your little bit time and uh, try to translate this. It's easy. Don't worry. So Babu, you there? Yeah. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Please. Come. Uh, Z. Mm -hmm. Aus, uh, Delhi. Is this you are speaking? Is this? Come see, see out Delhi. Yes, ma'am. Okay, very good. Come see out Delhi. So everyone, here are two verbs: does and come. So as I have told you, we will ignore the helping verb. We will use the main verb. So. according to the format first thing we have to write down the verb with okay. conjugation so with the she the con ending is t always so comt z and because it is she and she is the small s z that's why it is z and as we have done ish comma aus daily so whenever we are talking about i come from in that case from will be aus and delhi is the place okay Okay, uh, grandma, it's okay if your network is bad. Uh, I hope you can hear it properly, and if not, you can uh, check the recordings later. Uh, yes, Shashi Kala, okay, if you have any. Okay. Yeah, Shashi Kala, if there is any doubt, you can message me. Okay, cool. So these are the three sentence format which are very common, which are very uh, frequently used, and we can use it with any pronoun, any verb. You know, uh, you see here, you you translated these sentences. Do you work? Does she come from Delhi? So you can translate any sentence, any type of question or answer. Okay. So in W fraga, we have W word. then we have the verb conjugated whenever you are making any sentence whenever you are translating any sentence there will be always the verb is conjugated then there is subject and object okay 
so it could be formal informal according to uh, the context according to uh, whom you are talking about and then we have the auszagasatz that is statement sentence like the answers so there will be subject conjugated verb and object okay and then we have yana infraga yana infraga we have yes no question when we have to answer either yes or no now suppose uh, we have asked this type of question now what should be the answer the answer format will be same as we have done in auszagasatz only the difference is there will be an uh, there will there should be any yes or no okay like does she come from delhi if the answer is yes so it would be ya comma ish ya okay uh whether he can you tell me the answer for this does she come from delhi then i'm writing yes so what would be the answer further uh okay uh yeah hmm uh z yeah uh com good a uh, delhi aus delhi aus delhi okay so this is when we are speaking about the positive answer the answer will be same as in the question yeah z com aus delhi if i ask uh coms do aus uh, bangalore ya ish comma aus bangalore so it depends on the pronoun as in english if i am asking do you come from bangalore so you will say instead of you you will use i yes i come from bangalore does she come from bangalore yes she come from bangalore she comes from bangalore okay so according to the question you will change the answer pronoun and according to the pronoun the conjugation of the verb will be changed now if the question is in negative like no she doesn't come from delhi so it will be nine z comped we will not use uh, does not because as i have told you we will not use the helping verb nine z comped nisht aus delhi nisht is not so nine z comped nisht aus delhi no she doesn't come from delhi okay so any doubt in these type of sentences then we will move further and i have practice sheets for uh, these question sentences and uh, question yana in fraga and w fraga so we will practice there but just go through it once just have a quick view if there is any doubt you want to ask you can ma'am i have a doubt yeah uh, what exactly does nish stand for nisht is not uh okay okay so does, so does not uh no not does not see uh as i have told you okay this is no she doesn't she doesn't come from delhi so doesn't is does not so as i have told you whenever we are we have two verbs main uh, helping verb and main verb so we will use the help main verb okay so we will ignore the helping verb and we we are using the main verb so does not is not the verb does is the verb cool so she does not come from delhi in that case we will not use does but we use come and not so if i say uh, no i uh, okay if the question is comes do aus comes do aus delhi if i want to say yes i come from delhi that is simple if i want to say no i don't come from delhi so no i do not come from delhi so in this case you can see there are two verbs do and come do is a helping verb that's why we will not use it so this would be nine ish now we have to write the verb so verb is comma nine ish comma now we have to use not because i i am saying no i do not come so we have to use this not and this not is nisht okay vedi is it clear 
Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Okay, Shashikala, we are using aus for from. This preposition from is aus in German. Okay, any other doubt? Okay, so we will move further with a practice sheet. Okay, so uh, we have done the verb conjugations. We know few uh, prepositions like aus, in, okay. And uh, now we know the conjugations of uh, like which pronoun will take the which ending. So I have a practice sheet here. We will do this. Uh, Definitely, we will do many practice sheets in the basics because it will improve your basics only. So there is a uh, there is an exercise. So it's written Übungen. Übungen is exercise. So Übungen, we have these options here, as we have all done these these kind of exercise fill in the blanks. So we have these options here and. Two times is it, this could be used two times. That this could be used three times, okay. And all the uh, like you know the meaning of all words. Still, I'll uh, explain. Do is you. Haisa is to be called. We is how. In is in. Tag is day. Nama is name. Deutschland is Germany. Comma is come. Uh, rest I guess you know. Okay, so we will start with the first sentence. I'll tell you the meaning of the words which we have not done. Otherwise, you can translate the sentence by yourself. Cool. So we will start with Nana. Can you tell me what which word should come here from these above given words? Ha, uh, can you read the sentence? Nana, you, uh, are you there? Yes. Yeah. Hello. Ish. Hi. Hi. Sa. Hi. Sa. Hi. Sa. Hi. Sa. Sabrina. Yeah. Und. Und. Yeah. Can you tell me the translation? Hello. Mm -hmm. I am Sabrina. And yeah. you? Good. Very good. Okay. Next. Uh, Vedahi, can you tell me? Second. Dash Haisa Marion. Marion, yeah. Marion. So what would be in this blank? Uh, air. You said air. Where is air in these options? Um, okay. Uh, where the he? What is the verb in this sentence? Uh, hi sir to be called yeah and by the full stop it is very clear that it is a simple sentence there is no question so in a simple sentence we have subject at the first position so if hi sir is the verb what is the ending of hi sir uh, e so e. Uh, ish. Ish. Yeah. yeah with ish we have this ending e so ish haisa marion i am marion yeah. okay next pratipa b i z c b i z n z yeah mine mine I guess we have not done this. Okay, there will be mine, Nama ist. So mm -hmm. I'll tell you three ways to ask your name. Okay, later I'll tell you. So there could be uh, we ist ear Nama. Or oh, just a second, I'll write it here only. So as I have told you, we can ask either we hyphen Z. Sorry, V hyphen Z or like 
this is the formal way i am writing the formal way or where zind z that means who are you or we can ask v is ear nama what is your name okay actually the exact translation of this would be how is your name so in general in english we say what is your name so this is how do we how do you call who are you and what is your name so answer could be like it's not like if somebody is asking you we hi sin z it's not necessary to use hi sin in the answer you can simply say ish bin pratipa okay so the answer could be ish hi sa ish hi sa maria or ish bin ish bin maria or mein naam is maria okay so these are the three ways to ask someone's name and to tell your name so it could be anything like if i am asking where's in z it's not necessary to answer in this format only you can say where's in z you can say my naam is maria okay so these are the three ways to ask ans uh, ask the name so in this we hyphen z my naam is haina man it's haina man haina man is a name like it's a last name so we hyphen z my naam is haina man stefan haina man okay so my name is haina man stefan haina man like if i say my naam is tyagi shivani tyagi cool so next uh, som babu can you read the sentence and tell me the correct word is is koma has somalia mm -hmm. un z un z cool good very good from somalia okay. and you yeah i come from somalia and you okay uh, then uh, shashikala's audio is not working shruti can you tell me what would be in fifth ट Vedahi, we are. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, Nana. We are. Um. <sighs> we are. Hmm. Hmm. do no yeah yeah correct why no see we highs to do saskia or do yeah what is your name sask uh, she said saskia and you and you okay good okay so this is very simple ish bin stefan so okay ish haisa because bin is not there so ish haisa stefan It's very simple. Now, where do you tell me about this? Eight. Ah, uh, where comes do comes comes do ish come comma ish comma. I come. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I come from. Yeah, from in German. Um. Aus. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Uh, Good. 
वेरी गुड सो इट इज इश कॉम आउस डे चॉइस वो है कॉम जू वेर डू यू कम फ्रॉम इश कॉम आउस डे चॉइस चॉइस इज स्विटरलैंड I come from Switzerland. Okay, next is Pratipa. Oh, her comment Z. Yeah, good. Aus Afghanistan owned. Undir. Mm -mm, no, in this sense, it will be Z only. Undir. Okay. Now, uh, you were asking me. Somebody has asked me that. How do we know this is formal or informal? See. If somebody is asking you uh, in a formal way, you have to ask the same. Like here, wo here common z. The question was in formal, formal way. Okay, so you have to ask the in a same way. You cannot say if somebody is form being formal with you, you cannot be informal. That would be very rude. Okay, so wo here common z. If somebody is asking you formally, you have to answer the in a same way. You have to ask in a same way. So und z, okay, cool. So then, uh, where common z? Where do you come from? From Afghanistan. So it, this is also the way to uh, speak. If somebody is asking you where common z, it's not necessary to always say the full sentence. As in English, if somebody asks me where do you live, it's not necessary. I always use a full sentence. I live in Hyderabad. So you can simply say in Hyderabad. Okay. So same in German, because this is also a language. So it's not necessary to speak full sentences. Who had common Z? Where do you come from? From Afghanistan. Simply you can say from, and you. So if you want to, there is another way to ask the same question to another person by using this and you. Suppose if somebody is uh, asking you where do you live. So I I'll answer in Hyderabad and you that and you means where do you live? Okay. So next, uh, Som Babu, what would be here? Ish comma aus. Ish comma aus Deutschland. Very good. Ish comma aus Deutschland. Okay. Okay. I come from Germany. Cool, Grandma. Uh, okay, his audio is not working. Shruti, can you tell me what would be here? Oh, uh, Guten Tag. My um... yeah, the simple one. Guten Tag. My name is. Read it. Uh, Peter Mueller. Yeah, Peter Mueller. So Mueller is a very common uh, last name in Germany. Okay, so Guten Tag, Good afternoon. My name is Peter Mueller. Next, yeah, whether he can you tell me what should be here? I have told you. I just told you even. Um. We, we, what is your name? Oh. Yeah. Uh, we is her name. Nama. Nama. Genau. We is her Nama. Okay. My Nama is Katrina Zeifert. What is your name? My name is Katrina Zeifert. Okay. So this is very simple. Next. Hello. Ish Haisa Sebastian Stegard. So it's very clear that uh, Haisa is there. So with e ending, we always use Ish. Next is Ish blank in Kion und Z. Hmm. Uh, so uh, Shruti, can you tell me what will be here and the translation of this sentence? Uh, ish Ona in Kion. Good. Hmm. Uh, you know. I live in Kion. Yeah, Unzi and you, mm -hmm. and the, you will be saying Ish Ona in um, Düsseldorf. Düsseldorf. So Düsseldorf is a place in Germany. Okay, Ish Bona in Köln. I live in Köln, and you, I live in Düsseldorf. Great. 
so then wo wohnen sie where do you live so ich wohne and with wohne we use in so ich wohne in dortmund where do you live ich wohne in dortmund cool uh vedi can you tell me what would be here in 16 uh wo wants do yeah ich wohne in dres uh, dresden. dresden great very good so as i have told you according to the question we have to change the answer pronoun and according to the pronoun we have to change the verb ending and you get it so if you are somebody is asking wo wohnst du where do you live ich wohne in dresden so the verb ending will be changed according to the pronoun according to the subject okay so uh, what would be here uh, pratipa b is the name yeah b is your name my name is muller name is muller marlon muller muller yeah what is your name my name is muller marlon muller okay we heist do ah yeah ah uh, som babu please tell me what would be here in 18 und sie okay uh shruti what would be here heist do do again do yeah as i have told you in whichever format in whichever way somebody is asking the question you ask the in the same way okay in germany if somebody asking you we heist do like in india we can say like uh, he is asking me informally but i asked i showed the respect and i asked in formal way but in germany if somebody is being informal to you and you are being formal that is not good kind of Okay, so if somebody is asking you, "We highs do," so you have to ans uh, ask the in the same way, like "un do." Okay, so this is very clear. Ish ish hi sa Veronica, guten tag, or if there is guten abend, it is there. Yeah, tag is there, so we can say guten tag. Okay. Guten Tag, ich bin Lisa Groning. Okay, so these were the sentences in which we have used few. In fact, you know, if these are not there, if these options are not there, still you can write these words. Still, you know what will be coming. Only few are there, like in this. Ich heiße Stefan. Instead of this, we can write Ich bin Stefan. Both are correct. so without using these words even you can fill up the blanks cool so next is schreib die wörter in die richtige reihenfolge rein folge is sequence like in the correct order okay richtige is right correct and rein folge is sequence in order so uh, we have just learned the format of the sentences or questions you have to or uh, write these words in uh, order and make a proper sentence cool so we will start with the pratipa ish aise jenny yeah ish haisa jenny okay next whether he what would be second kom hmm uh aus no uh maybe okay think about it first either it is a question or an a statement If it is a statement, what should come first? In a statement, what should come first? I think uh, it's a statement. Yeah. What should come first in in a statement? 
all subject good what is the subject here thomas genau so thomas then next uh kommt ja aus ja thomas kommt Tom, aus aus der aus der 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 twice twice okay so whenever you are translating any uh, sentence just remember either it is a question or a statement okay cool so uh, next uh, nana can you tell me the correct sequence of this woher mm -hmm. kommen anna und martin yes sehr gut woher kommen anna, anna und, und martin martin yeah okay now okay great so this is a question where the where do anna and martin come from okay now next uh, shruti yeah Sa sabi uh, sabina Sab won't in uh, dusseldorf yeah it's very clear sabina won't in dusseldorf okay cool uh next is very clear we have do we have highs and we have we and it is a question so it is very simple that we highest do it's simple okay so next is also simple we have wants wo and do and a question mark so it would be wo wants do simple next come to the next sentence okay so vedahi please tell me this sentence what would be uh, stefan stefan yeah stefan uh, kommt aus die uh, deutschland yeah very good okay thank okay. so like if you have jumble words then even you can form the simple sentences now okay so this we have done like we have done the state uh, sentence format today now we have done how we can use the words in the blanks if there is any verb missing what would be the pronoun if there is any uh, pronoun is missing what would be like if there is a uh, pronoun is given we have to write the verb we can write the verb according to the pronoun the correct ending of the verb if verb is there but uh, the pronoun is not there in that case also we can find it out we can identify it with the verb okay so next we will do this so there are few sentences and uh, this could be your homework actually there are few sentences written in english and in the bracket it is written either in formal and informal formal or informal okay you have to translate these sentences either in a formal way or informal according to the given information these are the simple one you know about the uh, you know the translation like Sweden will be Sweden, Germany is Deutschland. So you know everything. The names will be same. Berlin is Berlin. Okay, so uh, this would be your homework. We will discuss this uh, on Monday. For now, and this also. So what is this? Corrigir the de failure. Failure is mistake. So you have to correct the mistake in these sentences. There might be mistake. in uh, verbs there might be mistake in verbs okay uh, sorry pronouns so you have to check first read the sentence 
try the translation and then check whether the question word is correct or the verb is correct or the verb ending is correct or if the verb ending is correct then is the pronoun is correct according to the verb ending okay so try the, these two exercise uh, in this weekend and please don't see the you know losing schlüssel is there losing schlüssel is the solution key so losing is solution and schlüssel is key so don't see it please try it yourself and then we will discuss it okay cool so this is your homework now no we will do this later now we will start the book we have uh, i'll share this pdf file with uh, pratibha also so that you all have the book we have done uh, some grammar like conjugation we have done the countings we have done the sentence format so we are good to start with this book now okay just a second so there are uh, some words which are in german how we can okay so here here are few conversation little conversations are given which like if some you are meeting someone how you can greet how you can uh, say goodbye okay so is there anyone who want to read it whether he can you read this conversation please uh, yeah yeah okay. hello uh, nina yeah hello gregor we gets gets danke sehr gut und dir dear dear es geht danke okay uh, it's very clear hello nina like uh, we are saying hello he is saying hello to nina hello grog uh, we gets how are you danke thank you sehr gut is very good sehr is very und dir and you es geht danke es geht is like it goes it goes well thank you okay so uh, next is the same one now next pratibha can you read this yeah Hello, it's been yeah, Julia. Yeah. Und du? Wer wer bist du? Ich heiße Gregor. Entschuldigung, wie heißt du, Gregor? Yeah. Okay. Hello, hello. Ich bin Julia. And you? Who are you? Wer bist du? Is the informal way to ask a uh, name. Ich heiße uh, Gregor. Entschuldigung. Entschuldigung is excuse me so uh, excuse me what's your name gregor okay so next is choose choose julia bisbal bisbal is shruti what is bisbal bisbal see you soon yeah good choose choose julia bye bye julia bisbal see you soon choose okay so these are the small conversation uh, which is given uh, here in the book so even you can make these conversation with your friends or uh, if somebody knows german in fact if somebody doesn't know german you can speak by yourself to practice okay to practice the pronunciation so see here what we have done today is w fraga and auzagazats so in w fraga first we have the verb uh, sorry first we have the w word we or where then the verb conjugated verb and the pronoun okay in auzagazats we have subject verb the conjugated verb and the object if there is any okay so this is what we have done now the there are few uh, more conversations som babu can you read this conversation gooding morgan my name is naina weber gooding morgan nina 
Nina. Okay. Gutin Morgan, Frau Weber. Yeah. Ich heiße Hansen. Oliver Hansen. Oliver Hansen. Okay. Guten Morgen, my name. Okay, that conversation we have uh, read, that was informal. Now this is formal conversation. Guten Morgen. So uh, in your offices, usually uh, to to whom you are formal, you say good morning. So Guten Morgen. My name is Nina Weber. Good morning. My name my name is Nina Weber. Good morning. Frau means Sombabu. Wow. Yeah. Uh, See in the context as well. You can find out. Good morning. My name is uh, my name is uh, Nina Weber. Good morning. Frau Weber is Miss Weber. Miss okay. Weber. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good morning, Miss Weber. Ich heiße Hansen. My name is Hansen. Oliver Hansen. Okay. Good. Cool. Uh, so, Shruti, can you read second conversation? Yeah. Uh, good and tag Frau Kowalski. Mm -hmm. Kowalski. Yeah. Good and tag Frau uh, Weber. We get a sign in. Inan. Inan. Danka good. Unda Inan. Ouch good. Auk. Auk. You, uh, yeah, oh, good, thank Cool. Uh, one thing I want to mention here is this I sound is not I. It's not Nina or it's not Einen. It's Enen. I sound is E. Okay. So, guten Tag, Frau Kowalski. Uh, good, af good afternoon, Miss Kowalski. Good in, good. Guten Tag, Frau Weber. Good afternoon, Miss Weber. We get as Enen. So, as I have told you, whenever it is formal, you are asking. How are you formally? So it is we get as Enen, and in the answer also, uh, like in the back question also, we will ask the und Enen. Okay, so Danka good, thank you good, und Enen, auch gut, auch is also. So I'll write it here. Uh, Shivani, I have a yeah. question. Yeah. So when we are like informal, when we are asking we heißt du, um, and we are saying good und, und du. And also we can say undir. Okay. Uh, firstly, the question would be we get as dear or we gates. Okay. Okay. So if we are asking like informally, you are asking now. So this would be we gates or we get as dear. Both are correct. Okay. Informally. Okay. We gates or we get as dear and in uh, when you are giving answer so uh, gut danke und dir informally you have to say und dir in in fact if you are using this phrase if you are saying we gates and uh, mm. if you are answering gut danke in that case also you have to ask und dir so informally you have to ask und dir and don't get confused with this and normally and you when uh, suppose when we say uh, are you uh, like uh, i am from delhi are and you in that case we will use do only this is an exceptional case this is a further grammar actually this is dati as i've told you there are three cases nominative dati accusative so this is dati so we, when we will learn it later you will get to know Okay, yeah. but for now, just understand if you want to ask and you for how are you in the reply of how are you? So you will use und dear for informal and un inen for formal. Auk is also also good. Thank you. Okay, uh, yeah. Vedahi, can you read this? Yeah. Guten Tag, Frau Weber. Hello. Uh, Herr Hansen, das ist meine Kollegin. Mm -hmm. Kollegin. Kollegin. Natalia Kowal uh, Natalia Kowalski. Guten Tag, Frau Kowalski. Kowalski. Mein uh, Name ist Hansen. Good. Guten Tag, uh, 
These are the small conversation by which you can understand how we can talk to someone, like the basic. Okay, uh, Swam Babu, can you quickly read this? Auf Wiedersehen, Herr Hansen. Tschüss, Frau Weber. Auf Wiedersehen, Frau Kowalski. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Okay, uh, now. as in uh, when we were uh, reading those conversations there were choose as i have already told you choose is for informal by when we saying by formally there will be auf wiedersehen so auf wiedersehen herr hansen uh, by uh, miss mr hansen choose from weber by miss weber auf wiedersehen auf wiedersehen is by okay so here is a box in which the time of like how you can greet in the morning in afternoon evening and night so this is what we have done already we have done the conjugation of sein okay so you have these notes so need, no need to read it from here because you have already with every pronoun so sein conjugation and heisen conjugation like the endings we have done okay so there is something written that do or z do is informal and z is formal so whenever you have informal you are using do which i have already told you and with do you can use the for nama for nama is first name okay you can see so sorry you can see here every time when whenever in these uh, converse, uh, conversation whenever somebody is greeting formally they are using either frau or herr so frau and herr is used for formal way whenever you are saying mr or miss mr hansen miss weber that is formal so for nama means first name whenever you are uh like if you talk to your friend that is informal and you will use the first name we hi's do ish hi sa nina you can tell your full name as well if somebody is informal but the correct way is when somebody is uh asking informally just tell their tell your first name if somebody is asking the uh like in the formal way nakhnama is last name so you have to add your last name or simply when you are uh, calling somebody with uh, in this formal way you can call with their last name okay so that is also formal if you are using miss and last name mr and last name that is also formal cool so is there any doubt anyone nana vedhi som babu shruti pratipa shashikala grama is there any doubt for this session yeah sorry one last one more yeah, yeah. Have it so when we are saying mine and mine like yeah. what difference does it make so this is a difference of feminine and masculine whenever you are talking about a girl okay so uh, just a second yeah so if you are saying das ist mein freund so this is my friend and thus is mine freundin okay although by friend and friendin we can identify that it is male and this is 
female female but in german we have the ending of these possessive article these are the possessive article so this is a wide grammar so in english also we have the, these possessive article my his her but we don't have endings in english yeah but in so german when, yeah yeah whenever we are addressing us also like we have to like say minor when it is like since i am a female yeah like mm-hmm. uh you are not addressing yourself uh, whenever you are address uh, like the relationship of possessive article and about whom you are talking like if you are talking about your father so this would be mine father okay. if you are talking about your brother that would be mine brother but if you are talking about your uh, you know uh, sister that would be mine na sister so how it dep- then how it changes is according to the article of the noun simple if you are okay. saying das ist mein auto auto is car okay so car doesn't means like you cannot identify car is a masculine or feminine how you can identify that it would be a male or female but mm. auto article is das auto as i was telling you yesterday if you are learning nouns learn it with the article so if you are learning car is auto learn car is das auto das auto okay. so for saying for saying my it is always so going to be mine so that that is a further grammar yeah okay. yeah for my it is mine but ending depends on the articles uh, like the nouns okay so don't worry about that once we will uh, do these uh, grammar things you will get to understand but for now you can uh, just remember this if you are talking about any male there will will be mine like mine friend mine father mine brother mine colleague okay mine student mine schwester mine studentin mine friendin okay so these are the okay uh nana uh, where is auf i didn't get where i have written auf okay you were talking about auf wiedersehen okay nana uh, auf is a preposition it has uh, some different meanings but in this phrase auf wiedersehen means bye so when we will do preposition auf has so many meanings auf is also on but here we cannot say on by so auf wiedersehen sehen is a complete phrase that means bye okay so uh, i'll see you on monday now and please practice everything i have given some homework please do that so that we can discuss learn the conjugation of sein and have and learn the basic phrases which you can use in your daily life try to reframe the questions or answer what we have done learn your introduction practice countings okay so this montag montag is monday we will learn the weekdays as well and uh, shyness work and enda Danke schön so kann man Danke What is same to you Gleich falsch 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 ja okay Danke Tschüss Tschüss